Tonight, you'll meet a Nashville music master. Matthew Kennedy started playing the piano when he was four years old. Now it's 80 years later, and he's still at it. For years, he led the world-famous Fisk Jubilee Singers. He's played at Carnegie Hall, even played for a princess. And tonight, he's playing for you. Piano lessons mix into history lessons with Matthew Kennedy, a longtime Fisk professor and leader of the Jubilee Singers. That's him at 11. On the way to a life of classical music, Juilliard, the Apollo, Carnegie Hall, and Paris. Yeah, that's, that's great. This was just before I'd made my New York debut. No. What about this one? His daughter sifts through old photos planning a documentary on her dad. I thought it was quite a, quite a handsome fellow. Back when black and white sat together on the keyboard only. Uh, seats will be reserved for white persons, and the admission price will be 75 cents. Of course, that was in America's Georgia. America's Georgia. Piano kept him company and keeps him young. Just like Matthew, Beethoven never gets old either. I love that melody. Sometimes when I play it, it almost brings tears to my eyes. He doesn't let the sadness stay long. Uh, sometimes I have to control myself and not let my shoulders or my feet show too much of it. Too much enjoyment of my own plan. <laughs> Enjoy it, Mr. Kennedy, on your birthday. You deserve it. Terry Bulger, Channel 4 News. I was born in America's Georgia, March 10th, 1921. My mother was Mary Dowdell Kennedy, my father, Royal Clement Kennedy. Royal Clement Kennedy was born March 30th, 1881 the tenth child of George Washington Kennedy and Emma Bola. His parents had been slaves on the Kennedy Plantation near Andersonville, Georgia. I was the youngest. I had a, and the brother was oldest, then I had a sister. There was a stillborn between my sister and myself. Mm -hmm. And actually, my mother had been advised by her doctor to have no more children. Mm -hmm. And they were attempting to avail themselves of his advice. But I came along. And uh, she looked upon me as somewhat of a miracle baby. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I guess I occupied a special place in her heart. My father had attended a Sunday school convention in Washington, D.C. And uh, that was a, that little period of separation when he was away from home. And uh, my mother feels that when he came back that there was a bit of passion in their getting together again. and. She thinks that that might have been the moment of my conception. My father loved the music. The music that he heard at that meeting so inspired him that he thought he would like uh, my name to incorporate Washington. He thought in observing me at the table at mealtime that I would just run my fingers along the table as if I were playing the piano. And he said to my mother on one occasion that I think something special is in the baby and I think it's music. 
whatever it is, you develop it. He had a feeling that he was not going to live much longer uh, after I had been born. And he died when I was just about 16 months old. I don't remember my father.